hello everyone welcome back to another video my name is Betha so as per the title of the video as you can see I know I look a little bit shaggy but as you can see we are going to be doing some core washing so in this video I'm going to be trying out my new detangling brush and uh, I bought this from the supermarket at 50 bob best lady and it is kind of flexible not too harsh and not too hard so at first I thought this was a brush uh, scratch kind of stuff but I think the way it is what flexible and soft it is so good so I have used it as you can see there are some hair stuck inside between but yes it did a pretty good job so I'm also going to be trying this out in this video so I'm going to be using my moringa water so this is moringa water I'll just be spraying over and then I'm going to be co-washing with my conditioner so I bought this from this lady it's called Bamasi conditioner almost conditioner so first i'm going to be pouring it into a container i like doing this so that when it remains i just put a lid on that container and stock it for the next use so my conditioner is white in color and it is a little bit thick as you can see the consistency yep so first things first we are going to be pouring this inside this other container and then after that i'm going to be working in sections so i just need to put on this down over my shoulders then let's get started so I have been busy that's why I haven't been posting yep. so I unraveled my hair yesterday I had put in cornrows which lasted for actually three weeks and so I'm just going to go ahead and put something new try something new so let's get started so first things first I'm going to spray my moringa in my hair oh I'll also need to put my hair on a plastic cap so that it can just absorb this conditioner for a while and then after that I'm going to wash it out and rinse it completely so yeah this is how my hair is looking like my hairline is a little bit a mess but for now let's just talk about the hair okay this smells a little bit leafy more of rinse yep. so I just want my hair to take that in to take that in Then I'm going to go and even so my condition. Just trying to make it a little bit damp. Oh my hair like that. Okay. So Actually, before I kept in my cornrows, I had washed with my hair with the shampoo and it did a little bit pretty damaged my scalp. I had so much dandruff. I don't know if anyone has ever experienced this. Mention in the comment section below. But I think I'll start doing more of co-washing and 
reduce using of shampoo because oh this smells nice because shampoo seems to be very tough on my scalp and my hair so i'm just going to be washing using shampoo i'm going to be washing my hair using shampoo when it is on a protective style like braids but when i take them down i just go in gently with my co-wash or i go and wash with my conditioner so as to reduce the damage because i it felt a little bit off it was too much my scalp was like there was so much dandruff that i couldn't believe even i never i felt like i haven't washed it in fact at night i could wake up in just to scratch my scalp can you imagine that so share your experiences with dandruff in the comment section and also tell me any ways that i can help reduce dandruff because that's the exact point or that's the main thing that i'm trying to do when i am going in with my co-washing so when my scalp was really itchy and too bad and too mad at me i ended up going in with another wash so i just did a fresh wash but this time my cornrows were on so i just washed in the protective style and it turned out great so there was no so much scratching and the dandruff was reduced so after keeping this after do not oh i have this So after doing this, I'm just going to put this into Pat Baker, a braid or a twist. Then I'm going to cover my head so as to trap moisture and to maintain moisture for some time and to put on some heat and just let that stay in there for a while. So yeah, this other section. So some of the advantages of co-wash include it helps your hair stay moisturized. It also helps in those days that you don't want to do a whole full wash day like me right now. I'm trying to Save on time and it also minimizes use of product because here you're just going to be using your conditioner. Yeah. And some water. But some of the disadvantages include it doesn't really remove all the dirt. So when you do this, make sure you can either alternate shampooing and co-washing or you can also, once in a while, you can wash using, using shampoo so that it removes all the dirt from your scalp and from your hair. So far, I'm enjoying this. So. And my hair has already grown well apart from my hairline which i currently don't know how to treat that so i'm just going to finish this up keep on watching please like remember to support your girl please subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up so that it can be recommended to other people in youtube Until
so actually our brush this brush the dandruff round comb or the what do you call it the massaging scalp brush is doing a pretty pretty good job look at that look at that oh my god it does a pretty nice job in detangling and just scrubbing and massaging your scalp so you can either hold it this way or you can hold it this way yeah but i love this one it also helps in cleaning of the scalp like it removes all the dirt and the junk that has just been stuck there for days Oh my god, look at oh my god, the curls are popping. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Yeah. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating.